Finally tonight, in an effort to spur competition, the Affordable Care Act provided government loans to launch nonprofit insurers known as co-ops that were designed to compete against established commercial insurance plans. Well, in the final part of our series, Insurance Upstarts, Bertha Coombs takes a look at these co-ops and whether they could end up leaving taxpayers on the hook if they falter. Created to give us control of our own health care. Health Republic of New Jersey uses its nonprofit status as a selling point. We're proud of that and we found that that message resonates with people. The whole idea of being a cooperative, a consumer operated and oriented plan, uh, and a not for profit, committed to innovating in health care. The new insurer is one of three cooperatives or co ops launched with help from the nonprofit Freelancers Union using federal loans under the Affordable Care Act. We've been granted a considerable amount of solvency dollars to make sure that we're able to cover any of the issues and concerns around utilization so that none of our members would have to be concerned would we be able to cover their hospital bill. Under the ACA, the Obama administration provided $2 billion in guaranteed loans to 24 new co-ops. One in Vermont failed to win approval from regulators, prompting comparisons from critics to the administration's 2010 energy loan program, which saw the high-profile default of solar panel maker Solyndra on $535 million. This is what happens when the government picks winners and losers with taxpayer money. At a House Oversight Committee hearing this month, Democrats cried foul. As much as the majority would like to manufacture a scandal, there simply isn't one. There is no smoking gun. This is no Solyndra. Then they walked out in protest, while Republicans grilled the Freelancers Union's executive director about her group's dealings with the Obama administration and about $340 million in loans used to launch Health Republic co-ops in Oregon, New York, and New Jersey. We did everything we said we would do to help those co-ops launch successfully and to move them quickly to self-sufficiency, and it worked. The co-ops were sponsored, I'm sorry, the co-ops we sponsored launched on time as independent entities. James Martin chalks it up to politics. Uh, I know the number of attempts to uh, derail the Affordable Care Act. He's confident Health Republic will be financially sustainable, though near term, the botched healthcare.gov rollout has meant a slow start to enrollment. We are not seeing the first time enrollees that was part of the target audience uh, and the, and the par target segment for the Affordable Care Act. Uh, whether they're the group that's waiting until the end of March, I'm not sure. Early enrollment has been mixed for the co-ops. Health Republic of New York has garnered 16% market share, making it competitive with commercial carriers, while Minuteman Health in Massachusetts has struggled. But ACA gives them time to get it right, up to 15 years to repay the bulk of their loans. Bertha Coombs, Nightly Business Report, Weehawken, New Jersey.